just briefly introduce yourself and let's start with how you got into your career. When, where, where did you go to school? When did you first get into programming? Yeah, OK, so it was when I let's say the first touch with the programming that was 20 years, 25 years ago, actually in elementary school. We had some additional classes about programming and uh, at that time we used the spectrum, very old computer and the black and white TVs and uh, we code in, in the basic programming language. Mm -hmm. So that was my first steps, let's say, when I had a touch with, uh, with the programming and I like it also. Beside the programming, I like also to, to work with uh, I don't know, electric engineering and every this stuff. So this is, let's say, my first step, let's say, in, in my professional career, what decided to be my professional career later. I, I finished uh, my elementary school in the Gordy Milan, the small town near the Belgrade and uh, also finished there the high school and uh, study university in Belgrade here in the faculty of uh, electrical engineering and uh, that that's all uh, what was your first programming project what's the first thing you remember coding the first oh okay i, I remember coding as i said that was in elementary school then we also had uh, some you know classes in, in the high school but the first as a project let's say project was on the university that was maybe I, I believe in the fourth year of the university we had a project to to build the website for movie theater for the booking online booking and we established the the team of four of us and we built that the website for 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 that using the html php mysql and the popular popular uh, let's say other technology in that time. So that was, I, I believe that was maybe 2005th that year. That was the first project when we organized and worked together and do it as a project. Mm -hmm. So were you a project manager on that? Uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, project? I was, yeah, I, yeah. I, I was the team lead, let's say, in that, that project ah, okay. organized other, other guys. <laughs> uh, so from there, how did you find your way to Adacta? Uh, did you, where, where did you work then? Uh, did you get to Adacta immediately after uh, college or after? No, no, no. That was, uh, let's say, 10 years ago. Then year, 10 years after my, I finished my university, it was 2017. I was working for some Greece company at that time. And uh, I was not satisfied too much with, with, with that position. So I had accidentally some chat with uh, one headhunter and she explained to me briefly about the adapter, the position and everything what they're doing. So I decided to the book the interview with the guys mm -hmm. from adapter and after <clears throat> three interviews uh, we agreed that I will start in a few months to work in Adacta. That was in summer 2017. 2017, so that's yeah. uh, five years ago. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so uh, what do you do now at Adacta? What's your position? My current position is the, let's say, called technical team lead. So it's the mix of the, let's say, the technical, let's say, the the role and the team lead role. So, so that means that I'm the managing the people in the team, work on the hiring, onboarding, the mentoring, the task, in the team organizing the the, the meetings uh, etc but also work on some technical tasks so that means that programming the code reviews the architectural decisions and another let's say the improving the process of the development the entire process so it, it is the mixed role and and i like that part so i like to be in touch with the technical stuff but also like to work with, with the people and improving mm -hmm. the things how many people are in your team right now? What right are you working now, on? Yeah, right now I think we have 13 people in the team. It's it's a big team. I think it's the biggest team in the core here. And uh, it was not like that, let's say, the year before. So we had a small team, but we decided to that we want to expand the team. And we heard a lot of the students and the young people from the university 
also hire some other seniors and now we establish really good team to be able to to deliver everything that we need uh, so what does your typical day look like uh, what are yeah. the main things you do yeah let's say that we start with one coffee and then after that we have the daily meeting so every day we have that short daily meetings of about 30 minutes then we need to synchronize between each other you know about the tasks about the issues the plans for 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 let's say for today or for for this week and after that so everybody starts to to work on their task i had also usually a few more meetings internally inside the team for maybe support the young people or to to resolve some issues or with external with other teams in in the company it could be the teams from other cities from ljubljana brno belgrade uh, etc so that's let's say the usually how when i had the time also we organized some internal the the say knowledge sharing or when we need to also create presentation for sprint review etc usually on friday we have this presentation so i'm involved in that part as well mm -hmm. so uh, as a team lead what, what uh, has been your greatest challenge so far what, what, what was the most challenging thing you had to do as a team lead, the, the, the biggest challenge is to establish a team. <laughs> because uh, <laughs> you will not be the team lead if you don't have a team. So that's the, the biggest challenge, you know, and it's 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 not easy, you know, in, in these days because uh, it's hard to find the, you know, the quality people now on the market and uh, you need to establish the good atmosphere in the team to motivate the people and to try to keep it as long as you, is possible, you know, in, in the team. And uh, and that's the biggest challenge. And I believe that we did it actually the last year. We saw that we expand team from maybe five people, six to 13 people very successfully. The energy in the team is the great motivation. So we had also very experienced people in the team and also have a lot of young people who are motivated to, to build career at the doctor. How does your leadership style differ from others, for example? What, what do you think that makes yeah, you stand it, out as a team leader? Yeah, that's maybe hard because I don't know how, how other team leaders are doing, but OK, I can say what is my style and what is important, you know, in my team, for example. Uh, I want to build a team with some very important values inside in the team. This is the, the respect first and the trust and transparency, because if you build a team using these these values and then everybody in the teams will feel, you know, comfortable in the team, they will have a good energy. They will help each other. They will not afraid to ask. They will eager to to learn something new and to you know, prove themselves. So this is important in the team. I don't want to be the, the manager. The, I just want to be part of the team and I want to put the team on the first place. So the team is the most important, not just one or two individuals, because we want to to build a good team and to work as a team and to, let's say, when we do something good, this is result of the entire team, not the praise, just one or two individuals for that, but we want to build as, as a team. Mm -hmm. So maybe in practical terms, how do you achieve that? What, what are your favorite approaches to foster this uh, culture of collaboration? Yes, but we the first thing what we need to talk, we need to talk, you know, as much as possible between the team. So it's hard, especially in the previous two, three years with, with the Corona situation when we work remotely and everything to 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 keep that the team, let's say, organization, team energy, and the, the because when you don't have that, the chat, you know, everyday chat, you know, about other things, not just the work. When you don't have a coffee with the colleagues, when you don't have these parts, then it, it's really hard to to establish that good team atmosphere. But but we want to be, as I said, we want to be transparent and to 
to be as the one family. And uh, this is important. If we see that something is not okay, we open discussion immediately. We don't want to wait to see that we have some, let's say, the, the bad energy in the team that can raise and ruin everything at, at the end. So this is mm -hmm. important to share the knowledge internally. So the, let's say, more experienced guys in the team to share the knowledge and uh, they open always to help. So we don't want to blame anyone, you know, if they make mistake, because we know that everyone has made mistake. But it's important that we learn from these mistakes and don't repeat anymore. So, and, uh, and when you have that, you can feel that energy and you have that, you know, good collaboration and results at the end that could mm -hmm. be measured. And uh, that's what is important for the company. How does the environment in Adacta differ from your previous positions? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can compare because, yeah, yeah uh, I was working in the, in the huge, the multinational company and also working in the small, the startups. And I can compare, let's say, these different environments and the cultures and the processes inside. So I believe that Adacta is the mid-sized company and they can bring the good things from both sides. Size. So, for example, from the startups, we can say that we are still agile. We can have that good atmosphere in the team. We know each other. We don't have the good, boring, the bureaucracy on the processes that are very hard to change. So, and from the other side, from the the big company, we can get the, the, the processes. So we have established the processes, how we build the software, how we do, let's say, the process in other departments. And this is important. So it's not chaotic like it is in startup when one guy has a multi roles and we don't know to do, you know, what to do. So we have the processes, we have established the culture, everything, but we are still agile and we can change quickly. So if we decide mm -hmm. to do something, we can do in few weeks, few months, and uh, that is very important in the current days because you must react very fast on the changes on the market and uh, mm. on, in the world as well. Mm. So what were the things you maybe recently, what were the biggest changes uh, uh, that you had to adapt to? Had to adapt, the biggest change, yeah, the biggest change that was that Corona situation where we mm. really quickly changed to work only remotely. So from full, the let's say, work in office, we switch in just let's say few days, very quickly to 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 work remotely, and we successfully let's say deliver everything what is the plan in that situation. So we didn't ruin let's say in the team spirit, the, the processes and everything. We just do some switches, changes, and successfully. That that was the, the really the big the big cope that we had here. Mm -hmm. Are you still working remotely, uh, or are you in the office now? No, I'm in the office, but we work, uh, let's say, using the hybrid the mode. So mm -hmm. we are in the office one or two days a week, and if someone wants to come more, they can come entire week because. But usually we we are here. For example, Monday or, or Tuesday, just to mm -hmm. keep that team collaboration spirit. To have a coffee with the colleagues, and this is this is really important. So, how do you keep the team atmosphere going in this hybrid environment? Uh, what are the things you do, uh, for example? But they, they, that's good. It, it's changed. For example, if we because we didn't have these kind of the meetings, let's say, and the collaboration. In the previous two years, as I said, we work remotely mostly, and uh, people now like to come in the office, like to 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 see the other colleagues, to go on the coffee, to talk some other topics, not just about the work. And uh, that didn't have effect on our progress and uh, and our let's say delivery to to. So I'm happy that now we are back. Let's say so we have now mm -hmm. possibility to work. The hybrid, so sometimes it's easier for people. For example, is the bad weather, it's some traffic jams in the in the city, or 
you have some other stuff to finish at home it's it's easier to work from home you know it's it's easier to maybe concentrate and focus on some complex issue when you are alone maybe at home if compared when you are in open office or something and you have a lot of meetings so i can say that we got positive thing that we got from the corona is that the hybrid mode uh, okay, so uh, what is your favorite thing about Adacta? What drives you to get up in the morning and go to work? Yeah, favorite things are are the people. Yeah, so I like to work with the people. I think this is really important and for others because if they feel that they are friends and they want to to talk with you, maybe to go out, I don't know, because and uh, this is the most important thing because you can go with any challenge, any issue, if you have a good team, if you get good colleagues, if you don't afraid to ask, if you want to work together, it, because it's easier at the end, it's easier to, to work together on something than, than alone. And this is the, let's say, the, the, the most important part of what I mm -hmm. like actually in Adacta, the okay. people and the atmosphere. So let's turn. Uh, you said you also have a lot of young people that you yes. lead, and I heard you dedicate a lot of your time to mentoring. Uh, why is this important to you? Because we are not. If I compare it with some, let's say the football, let's say you know, we are not the Real Madrid or Paris Saint Germain. We don't have the money to buy the best, you know, the players in the world and say okay. So we need to build our own let's say the young people, young players, young academy. And this is the way how I see that Adacta can progress in the future. We need to, to invest in young people, bring, let's say after university to, to the Adacta, work together with him and they will, after a few years, continue to work as a media or senior developers and they can lead Adacta because it's, 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 it's not easy because you need to invest a lot of time, energy in that. But I see that as a as a way how we can, you know, work in the future. Uh, and I like I, to work uh, with the, with the young people. Oh, that's oh, I like to work with the people, and that's that's okay for me. Because so I heard you are also something of an Adacta ambassador, uh, always wearing the company T-shirt. Uh, yeah, I'm so, not sure uh, where you hear that, but okay. <laughs> no, <weekly. laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I usually wear the Adacta the T-shirt when I play the tennis or other uh -huh. sports because I, I like to use that situation and maybe open some discussion that I will not open. For example, if I know because usually then we start to talk. Aha, uh -huh, you're working in Adacta. Do you know this and this guy or or something? I had the one situation when uh, maybe a few weeks ago I also. Uh, had a tennis match and the guy, my opponent said, I, are you working in Adacta? Yeah, because yeah, yeah, I was working in Adacta 15 years ago. Do you know that guy and that guy? And we, st we started that chat. So without that, we never maybe, you know, started that discussion. And you never know, maybe you will build some new contacts. I don't know, potential, mm -hmm. I don't know. But it's interesting because I'm proud on the company. I want to share. I don't want to hide that. So. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, you didn't bring any new people yet with uh, with your t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. But I believe that maybe that effect on the you know marketing of the company, so they hear or see somewhere about the doctor because this is important about the brand. You know, if you hear mm -hmm. about the brand, maybe you will send your CV when you see the 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 position, open position, or something. So it's it's important to. For the company to be present everywhere, you know, that young people see, or for example, to 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 be present on some conferences or some activities on the university, uh, etc. Uh, do you also uh, go to universities and things like that? Uh, do you also do something of that outreach? Yes, we had that uh, also event a few weeks ago on one with uh, in collaboration with one university, actually student organization here. We had some workshops also some the speed dating and some challenges tech challenges that and uh, that was really interesting that maybe four days we have involved with some other companies as well and that 
I believe that we found interesting people and uh, maybe future the employees of, of Adacta. Uh, so what 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 advice, advice would you have for someone new to the industry, someone who's trying to get a job with a doctor, for example? Advice. So be eager to to find to learn something new, you know, so try to to be fair to ask to. To research, you know, what is interesting for, for you, because the young people doesn't know usually what they want to work. They want to try everything to see what like and where they go, where they want to continue to career in which area. Maybe it's development in testing, it's the, I don't know, the management or some business roles. So, but it's today it's you must learn all the time. So it's not possible to learn something and then wait you know, 10 years just do that job because technologies are changing always the, the 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 way how we're doing the development the process everything so you must be ready to learn entire life let's say and if you like it if you like that let's say the the constant change and uh, <clears throat> then this is the right place for you mm -hmm. So uh, do you feel you are making a difference with your work and efforts? You think you are contrib contributing to improving uh, Adacta's brand? Yeah, I hope I, I'm doing my best, for example, internally inside the team, just the, you know, mentoring that you new people that are sharing the knowledge, also proposing the new process improvement or some other stuff in, in Adacta itself, some new ideas, for example, for some marketing, HR, everything. So I believe I believe that everybody should be involved in that, maybe in some some part, you know, we should collect a lot of new ideas from everywhere and then try to find something interesting in this idea. Because if you focus only on your work, they I think that's not the you know hundred percent that's not you you need to leave some part of your for example 10% of your weekly work to think about some other improvements, you know, how we can improve our process, how we can improve our environment here, offices. What do you think and, and talk about that? OK, so uh, let's uh, now move to a little bit more about you. Uh, so what's your personal passion project? Well, what's something you work on outside of work? You have something? Uh, you mean about the IT or some other passion? I like I, I have a lot of hobbies and uh, some passions. I yeah, know. something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I like the the sports and I like to play the tennis, the football. I like to go to the fishing. That is the, my passion. You know, to go mm -hmm. to the fly fishing or so also to to camping, to to hiking, to to play with the kids. You know, something so. I just need the time. That's really hard to find. <laughs> we have enough time for uh, everything. Uh, you're an avid tennis player. Uh, who's the greatest tennis player alive right now? Uh, I don't know, Novak Djokovic for, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> for and, sure, yeah. Uh, yeah, this, that's that's I think the the interesting sports, and I I I. I was playing the football all the time, the volleyball, the everything. But tennis now, it's it's easy to organize. You don't need too many players to organize to play mm -hmm. the tennis, and uh, it's really interesting. You need also very, you know, and the physical, but also mental uh, concentration for for that. And it's, you can play, you know, with the uh, with guys who is younger, older with you, and uh, that's that's really interesting. And I like 